Hey, what's up you guys? Jason C here, and you are watching the inaugural episode of 615 Fishing. I had the day off today, so I decided it was a great day. The weather was great to jump in a creek. Let's go fishing. All right, what's up you guys? It is Thursday the 1st of July and I'm headed to a creek. We shall see how good this creek is. I've been wanting to try it out. I know the lower section of it is really nice. Um, I've fished it myself and I know uh, some friends who fished pretty well in there and got good results. But I'm going way, way, way up creek uh, just to see if that rings true or if the fish are smaller if we're getting some sunfish and that kind of thing or what i don't know but uh here we go the weather forecast wasn't all that great but i knew today i would at least be able to get to fish in the morning from what i could see from the radar but i i really didn't want to go fish in a lake i didn't want to get the kayak out and uh, mess with all that. I just decided I wanted to jump in a creek. Nice, cool water, right? So, decided that it would be cool to check out this section of the Harpeth that I haven't actually been in before. Uh, and it's out there way south near uh, 65. So, decided to go out there. And uh, what's funny is, right when I pulled into the parking lot, I see this guy coming out of the water. Now, granted, I was a little bit late. I probably didn't get there till 9.20 or so, but there was a guy literally coming out of the water, packing up his stuff, getting in the truck, and I thought, well, if that's not forecasting, I don't know what is. Maybe this isn't gonna be such a great trip. Maybe he's already, you know, spooked all the fish, yada, yada, right? So, not thinking real good, not real confident. So I head down to the water after this guy's gone and I've got my stuff, I head down to the water and I get in and I start fishing. And I immediately thought, okay, I got a buddy of mine tells me top water in these creeks, especially the harp, this is the way to go. You catch tons of big fish. You might not catch a lot of little fish, but you catch a big fish with top water. So I'm throwing the Zara puppy, right? And I'm walking the dog and I'm doing the thing. And I look up and all the way down the creek, I see another guy fishing and he's going at it. And I think, well, this may be just a little bit too popular of a spot for me. Not sure how this is gonna go. So I kept fishing. I decided I'm probably gonna go halfway to this guy, turn around and come back, see what happens. So I'm fishing, I'm fishing, I'm fishing. And I, and I keep having, something's blowing up on the Zara puppy, but it's not, I can tell it's not a big fish. Um, so I give up on the Zara puppy. I probably didn't fish with the thing for, I wanted to say 30 minutes with it. After looking at the timing of some of my video, it was more like 15 minutes. Felt like forever. But so what I did was I assumed that these are smaller fish trying to hit the Zara puppy. So I switched and I got a little grub out. This little grub is amazing. <laughs> fished with this thing is just it, it's just a fish catcher there's nothing to say about it so I start throwing this thing and I mean it is fish after fish after fish now granted they're small fish but these sunfish are gorgeous just gorgeous fish they I mean they look like they ought to be in a saltwater aquarium 
but they're in the Harpeth. say it was a green sunfish it was a much larger sunfish uh, but it didn't have the nice blue turquoise and orange colorations that they do but it fought like the dickens so I worked my way down I decide okay this guy's way up here I'm gonna go down river so I go down river fishing along fishing along just catching sunfish after sunfish after rock bass after smallmouth just just a great day for small fish and I'm just killing them. And then I run into another group of people. So there's a guy and his son and they're out there cast netting. And I don't know if they're just going after bait for fishing later or what they're doing, but they're out there cast netting. So I go by them, keep going. And I, I mean, when you're in this creek slash river, you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but that was impossible today. Because today, all I could hear was construction noises. There's areas over there where they're building like crazy. And all you can hear are the dump trucks and the bulldozers and the steamrollers and the beeps and the cranks and the loud noises. You were constantly reminded that you were not in the middle of nowhere. But I kept going because I was catching fish. Why not? Let's just adventure on down, see what happens. So I did and just kept catching fish. And by the time I decided, hey, it's probably a good idea to turn around, it's probably a mile down the river, it's my guess. Uh, so turned around, decided, okay, I, I'm, I'm killing them on this little grub, which I'll, I'll try and put a link in the description for this grub, if I can find it. Come on, y'all. Look how pretty this stinking fish is. I mean, it should be like in the tropics. Been catching those over and over and over again. If you like that kind of fishing, I know not everybody does. If you like that kind of fishing, between that and there's been a few small, small mouth and, and some rock bass, but for the most part, these sunfish, and it's partly the way I'm fishing fishing with this little grub. It's the fish catching this little grub you ever seen in your life. It's got blue on one side, chartreuse tail, kind of a black on the other side. And they kill this thing. Rock bass, smallmouth, everything.
I'll switch from the grub to my favorite, the haze dong. Uh, so I'm, I start throwing the haze dong on the way back. So I'm headed back up river, catch another massive sunfish. A lot of this I didn't get video of, unfortunately, which is why I'm kind of doing this storytelling style. Um, but as I get all the way back, I run into another group of people and they're just playing in the water. It's two ladies, they've got their sons out there and they're just playing in the water and squirting each other with water guns and stuff. small creek river situation granted not those monsters that you know you get when you're throwing top water but a decent small amount so today was a pretty good day um, and uh, I, I just want to say to everybody that's thought about creek fishing you know you've been watching John Dalton or you've been watching somebody else fishing creeks um, it is definitely fun it, it's it's my happy place, no doubt about it, is when I'm in a creek, and especially if I'm by myself. Lots of times if I take a buddy or something, we're kind of scaring more fish than we are catching, but uh, go get in a creek if you have the opportunity. It's a great place to fish. You can catch some good ones and uh, have a good time. Now, that being said, if you've watched this entire video, I appreciate it. It is the first 615 fishing video, and uh, I have got a giveaway. Here's the magic of editing right here. That's right, giving away a lure lock hat. Brand new, nice and clean. I've never worn it, got the tag, whole deal. What I'm looking for is subscribers, so smash the subscribe button. If you do that, you're gonna be a drawing. I'm only looking for 50 subscribers to give away this hat. That's right, 50 subscribers to give away the hat. So subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more videos. I'm gonna do some how-tos because I get a lot of questions. I kinda sorta may leak the information that I work for a big box tackle company, not gonna say who that is, but uh, giving away the hat for subscribers. Subscribe, you go into a, I'm assuming I can see the subscribers, I have no idea, I'll have to look it up. If not, if I can't see the subscribers, subscribe, then email me, Jason at 615 Fish, and let me know that you subscribe, let me know what you thought of the first video, I got a bunch of old video that's just crammed onto hard drives and discs and all kinds of stuff. And uh, more than likely, I'll be digging through some of that stuff and putting together some, some kind of scrambled episodes to get the channel started and whatnot. But stick with me. The video is going to get better. You can also hit me up at the Nashville Jason on the Instagrams. And uh, don't forget to email me when you subscribe to get in the drawing for the hat. I'm only looking for 50 subscribers. That, draw, that drawing will happen immediately upon the 50 subscribers. We'll see you next time on 615 Fishing. Go fishing when you can because it's good for you. Wait, no, that's not gonna be my line. Shout out to uh, Richard Jean, the fishing machine. Love watching you, buddy. Um, no, I'm not going to have a line at the end, I don't think. Go jump in a creek. <laughs>